excited about Tune and Audi. It's going to be a new adventure for me. It's a nice change, you know? Yeah. It's good to mix it up. Yeah, so I'm sure the BMW people think I'm a traitor. And maybe, <laughs> maybe the Audi people think I'm too much of a BMW guy, but you know, I love cars. And, uh, you know, part of the thing I'm doing with Carbon is I'm doing BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, and Audi, not just BMW. So it's an interesting part of my life uh, that I get to take what I've learned from each brand and translate it into the other ones. Because what's interesting is each one of the car companies does something better and something worse than the other brand. And when you look at them all, you can take what's good from one and apply that technology to the other cars and make them all better. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got a 2023 Audi RS5, we just got it a week ago. Nice car, we have a 2021 as well. We started developing parts for Audi, so we wanted to buy the last generation car and this generation car, so we're going to cover everything from 19 through 23 as our starting uh, uh, business in this marketplace. A lot of improvements in this car uh, over the last car. The suspension system is significantly better and has electronic dampers. And it's hard or almost impossible to change electronic dampers from the manufacturer. So when they're wrong or not as good, I wouldn't say wrong as the last car, it's very difficult to solve the problem. So that's something that's uh, really welcome us. We can tune around it uh, with our bump rubbers and springs and sway bars and things like that and, and not replace the electric dampers and make a really great handling car for much less money than have to replace the shock absorbers or the dampers when you do the suspension system. So it provides a lot of value to the customer. I have an M4 competition as well, a couple of those and an M2 comp, and uh, comparing the Audi to the BMW, the BMW has a little more power, uh, a little less weight, but they're very close uh, at this point with Audi increasing the power. The BMW has slightly better weight distribution toward the rear than the Audi. Again, small, so uh, I would say this car is very, very close to being there performance-wise. Uh, some things I like about this car better, I think personally the styling of this car is better than the M4. I like the user interface inside the interior and the seats I think are better as well. So from a daily driver standpoint, I think this is a better car than the M4, but the M4 is going to be a little bit faster because of the weight, the weight distribution, and the increased power. Um, so they're both really great cars. I like them both a lot. Honestly, uh, uh, a couple of my favorite cars, I go back and forth uh, between them. All right, let's talk about what we're going to do this car now. Uh, both this one and the earlier one. Yeah, this new RS5 has a, a basic standard list of Carbon Steve Dynan modifications, which is software, heat exchanger, intercooler, as well as a high-performance engine. Should be around 700, 750 horsepower, safely. Uh, we're also gonna do a suspension system, keep the electric dampers, which would be springs, sway bars, and suspension link components, as well as wheels and tires. Should be a really neat car we're done. lower the rev limiter neutral so idiots don't sit there and uh, rev the thing up against the rev limiter and hurt the engine so it's probably a good thing no it's a smart thing all the car manufacturers started doing that because people would literally sit there and go and off the rev limiter until they broke the car so <laughs> yeah so one of the neat things about this car is the shift lights uh, normally the shift lights go up and, the, and they're at the top and a lot of times you lower the steering wheel when you're on a, on a windy road or on the racetrack to get so your hands cross over when the car gets sideways you can reach the top of the steering wheel rim and then it cuts off the shift lights on a race car, they build them in up on top or on the end of the steering wheel, so they're easy to see. But this particular thing, they put the shift lights at the bottom, so the revs go down, which is really cool. It's right in the center of the opening of the steering wheel, and then it flashes at you for a significant amount of time when you get near the rev limiter, so you have time to pull the paddle shifter and upshift, where a lot of them, they give you a very minimal amount of time. You have to kind of guesstimate when you get to the end of the yellow when you're going to get to the red. Otherwise, when you get to the red, it'll cut out and hit the rev limiter. But this car gives you some time. I'll show you, it flashes like three or four times, you can still pull the trigger and it doesn't kiss the rev limiter. So really nicely laid out shift lights, I'll show you. Sam flash. Really cool. It's the best shift lights in a streetcar I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, the other cool thing is Audi is a feature of all Audis. This way is manual shift, this way is sport shift. 
Mm. So you just go like this if you want to get sporty. You don't have to go into modes or pull the lever a second time. That's very cool.